Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. I'm going to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Dragon Ball topic video. This one's going to be answering a question, in my opinion, should Dragon Ball GT be considered actual canon? Okay, so this one's going to be a throwback topic, going all the way back to Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT days. And whether or not Dragon Ball GT, up at this point, should be referred to as canon or thought of as canon in the series. Now, I think when it comes to this one, you could really argue this one either way. You could argue it as, well, obviously the show was created, it happened, so it should be revered as canon, as legitimate part, legitimately part of the Dragon Ball greater storyline. Where do I stand with this one? Well, okay, so first of all, we all know Dragon Ball GT was hit or miss. You know, if you guys saw my review on it, I gave it a very bad score. I didn't give it a good score. I think I gave it a 5 or 6 out of 10, something like that. And for Dragon Ball, that's really low because Dragon Ball Z was probably the greatest action fighting cartoon ever created. Uh, I would probably have to give that, you know, like a 10 out of 10 in terms of a scale. So when you go from that to that, I mean, that's a huge jump. The other thing, too, of course, is it was not written by Akira Toriyama, and it was not based off of an original Dragon Ball manga. Um, now, that being said, there are a lot of Dragon Ball Z movies as well that were created, OVA movies, uh, direct releases, um, up until this point, even with one being released this year with the Battle of the Gods. So those kind of fall in a similar category, which is, do you consider those to be canon as well? Should those be considered canon as well? And I think that's a good question. Now, in terms of those versus uh, GT, there are, like a lot of those, for example, the, uh, the cooler uh, movies, um, they, a lot of them seem to fit into canon, but then sometimes when you really think about it, they don't really fit in the general storyline, a lot of them, or there are problems with them. In the, uh, in the series. For example, you'll have Goku at a certain place in time when he really shouldn't have been there because as soon as he got back to Earth, Frieza was basically already there. So when did Cooler come if that was at that point and he was away all that time in between? Was that after? What about the androids? Trunks came right after that. So when does Cooler fit in place? And, and not only just him, but a lot of the movies are like that. It's like, when does this fit in place in terms of time uh, in the series it doesn't necessarily fit. So a lot of the movies I think you can rule out as really being canon. They're nice little side stories as Toriyama refers to them as, you know, it's a nice little side story as he refers to GT. Um, but should we, the audience, actually view that as canon? So a lot of the movies I think I've already um, raised a good point which is that they don't fit in terms of the storyline really at a certain chronological point. They don't make sense to fit in the series. Some of them do, some of them don't. Certain things that happen in them do, certain things don't. So I think you could probably view those as either or. With regards to GT though, um, because it was such bad quality, I almost want to say that it should not be. Plus, there are a lot of problems with it. You can look on YouTube for different videos where people illustrate all the different problems of it. Or if you want to hear more of my thoughts on it, feel free to watch my review of GT so you can hear all the different problems I have with, with the series. Uh, in terms of fitting, in terms of time and things like that, for the most part, I guess GT would. Some of the storylines that are not bad, like them overusing the Dragon Balls, uh, so you have the Shadow Dragons story arc. Um, you have the uh, Baby story arc, which I think is, is pretty well done and pretty good in GT and probably fits um, with the Tuffles and, and the overall uh, storyline of it. Um, Goku being turned back into a kid again. Uh, I mean, and his outer space adventure. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. My opinion, okay, because I could see it argued either way that yes, it should be considered canon, no, it shouldn't be. I'm going to say with regards to GT, no, I don't think of it as canon. I think of it as a side story, but I don't think of it as legitimate Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama created series. And if they're going to do another one, if they're going to start uh, another Dragon Ball series, I think it'd be a good idea to do it right at the end of Z and just forget about Dragon Ball GT and behave as if it never existed, it never happened too bad. Some people would argue that, it, that because it was released it should be considered that way but I don't necessarily agree with that because it wasn't written by him and 
also some of the events don't fit in place with the actual series. You know, some of the things that occur don't make sense similar to the uh, some of the movies. So I would say, in my opinion, should Dragon Ball GT be considered canon with Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball and the overall storyline? I say no. I say it should not be. I don't think, I wouldn't look at it as, and uh, if they were to start another Dragon Ball series, uh, TV series, uh, and even like with the latest movie, Battle of the Gods, you know, Goku, uh, now I haven't seen the movie yet because it's not released in North America yet, so you can't watch it yet, uh, but he has this god mode. Well, that he didn't have that in GT, so why would he have it then but not have it later on and not be able to use it? So it kind of, I think because it's so bad, I'm just rationalizing that uh, that it shouldn't be canon. It shouldn't be considered canon. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. Should Dragon Ball GT be considered canon or not? Feel free to do a video response if you like. Uh, comment about it below. Heavily interesting topic, uh, debatable topic on whether or not it should be considered and revered as canon or not. I say no, I don't think so. Scratch that, erase it, forget about it. It was just a nice little side tale, like some of the movies, but it shouldn't fit in the overall storyline of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Oh, by the way, anyone who has any more Dragon Ball topics, please send them to me. Uh, I love talking about Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I, I can't get enough of it. I never will. My entire life, I'll always love Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and can't get enough topics or videos on Dragon Ball. So that's it for this one. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trap. Same peace, guys.